Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new Story Saturday. My name is Forever Lee and hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. Today is a compilation of a bunch of funny Lego stories. Yes, Legos are life. Growing up, I enjoyed Legos so much. I still do, I just don't get to play with them very much. All my Legos are actually like packed away and boxes and stuff and they're all in my crawl space and just chilling there and maybe someday maybe someday when I have like a bunch of time maybe when I'm like 80 and I have no like just a ton of time I'll just rebuild all my Legos you never know anyway I have a, like a couple thousand dollars worth of Legos though so I really really enjoy Legos it was basically my one thing that I enjoyed a lot in my childhood and that was you know just building different things building spaceships and bases and airports and stuff and my favorite was collecting Lego city sets so without further ado guys I hope you enjoy this compilation of Lego stories and let's get right into this okay so every year I saved up my allowance money to get a very large Lego set I was about you know 10 or 12, 11 at the time maybe 10 or 12 something like that and I got about ten dollars a month for allowance money now you know I did chores around the house just to get allowance and you know it was good so I bought lots of city Lego sets and a few Star Wars Lego sets but I really enjoyed city but one year I saved up for a really big one and at this time there was a dinosaur theme release that was called Dino Attack. It was about how dinosaurs had like raided Earth and humans were trying to fight them and whatever, whatever, you know. So I was like, okay, I'm just I'm gonna save up for this most expensive set. And I like always like saved up for like the really, really big sets so I could have like the awesomest Lego set on the block. I was the cool kid. So I saved up for this big set and it was actually a massive helicopter. It was so cool. It had a lot of machine guns and rockets. It was about two feet long, you know, weighed like four pounds. It was honestly like a dream come true for me at this age. I played with it for so much time and so often. And I was like, yes, this is the best set I've ever played with, ever. And then one day, some neighbor kids came to play. And you know, I, I had a lot of neighbor friends and they're just, you know, spread throughout the neighborhood and they enjoyed Legos too. So they came over to our house just to play with Legos sometimes. And and I was like, hey guys, I got this new set. Come over, I want to show you two. So we were in the front door, and my front door has a bunch of really hard stone tiles. So as soon as you step in, there's like stone tiles everywhere. So I get the helicopter. I held it with one hand on the tail and one hand on the cockpit. So there was no support in the middle. So as I was holding it, it essentially just folded in my hands. It just split down the middle and just fell to the floor and shattered everywhere. It crashed and burned. Now normally I wouldn't be sad at this point, but at this age, I always threw my instruction books away. I don't, it was, yes, it was stupid. So as soon as I built a Lego set, I would throw the instructions away. It was a really stupid thing. So I looked at the broken pieces in the floor and I was just really sad and a little embarrassed. I'm just like, well, this sucks. Now my next story is of the time, I was about six or seven, I like enjoyed Legos so much at this time, and my brothers had found a great way to give me a gift for my birthday. Instead of buying me a gift, they would build me a gift. Using my own Legos, they created a massive McDonald's restaurant. It had like a slide and everything, it was amazing, it was like probably one of the coolest buildings I've seen in a long time. My brother, my oldest brother was really good architect with Legos, so he would always build really cool stuff, and um, I was just like, yes! Yes. So, he built this awesome McDonald's restaurant. However, with two older brothers in the house, there's always rough housing. So every Sunday or so, we would randomly just get into wrestling matches with my brothers and my dad. You know, nothing like fighting or anything, but we were just having fun. And unfortunately, as we were wrestling, I got thrown on the floor by my brother, and I landed right on my gift. Yes, a gift of solid Lego. Not only did it hurt a crap load, but I got so sad from it. It took so many hours, but it finally got rebuilt. And I finally got my gift again. But it was so traumatizing. I was like, <laughs> why? Now this one is probably the best one of the video. This is the thrift store find. When I was about 12 or so, I would constantly go to the thrift store, you know, just to look for stuff and go with my mom and get clothing and whatnot. But, I would always look for Legos because sometimes people donated Legos and that was a tremendous day. I rarely found any Legos, but this one day came when my eyes met with a mysterious gray bag. And I was like, hmm, I wonder what that is. So I went over to it and it was like locked up in like this glass case. And so I was like, hey, can I, can I just look at this? And he, he's like, yeah, sure, go ahead. And it was indeed a bulk bag of Legos. So it was probably like a pound or two of Legos. And it was only $20. So I'm like, okay. I quickly bought it with my hard-earned money. Keep in mind, two months of earning to get this bag of Legos. And I bought it. And when I got home, I put all the bricks into the bathtub to wash them. 
and it turns out that it was a full, complete Lego set. So it had uh, instructions with it, fortunately. So I built it from the instructions, and I enjoyed it for probably like a year or so until I needed some extra money. So I put it up on eBay, and my dad helped me with this, and we always started our auctions at 99 cents. So it got all the way up to $75 before it finally got sold. I was really happy about this because, you know, I only paid $20 for this, so I got a $55 profit on it. And then the buyer gave me some feedback that was, you know, made me, made me stroke my chin a little bit. He said, this was a really cheap price for a very expensive Lego set. Thanks so much. So I was like, wait a second. This, wait. Intrigued, I went onto eBay and I looked up the actual price of how much this Lego set was worth. And who would have known it was worth up towards of $500? It was a $500 Lego set. Oh my gosh, and I sold it for 75 and granted, I did get it for 20 so I got $55 in profit, but I could have made hundreds on a thrift store find, but no, I didn't do my research beforehand, and it paid off negatively. <sighs> Who would have known? So, you know, I was very salty about that, and I still am, kind of, to be honest, because it was a really cool Lego set. It was a uh, Moon Lego Lunar Lander or something. It was a Discovery Kids what, Lego set, and uh, it was called, like, the Lunar Lander or something. But it's worth almost, like, $500 in some places. So I was really salty about that, you know, as, as I should be. <laughs> but anyway, guys, yes, that is a compilation of funny Lego stories. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Guys, this is going to be my last story Saturday that I'm going to be here when I upload it for about six weeks. I'll get more into that later. But without further ado, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in another time. Bye, guys.